This is literally the best build for farming hell tides. Bouncy, bouncy Mario fireball. Build slaps. Oh my god, dude. Let's see, and it's oh, and we got 15 minutes until the hour strike, so we should be able to farm up a bunch of cinders. And all right, what's up, guys? War here. I'm here to bring you. What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a sorceress fireball build, which is the absolute best build in the game to farm hell tides i don't care what anybody says this build is insane as you guys saw from the footage at the beginning of the video so i'm gonna kind of break down everything that we're doing in the build and just kind of showcasing like how awesome the build actually is is literally just bouncy bouncy fireball and that's all you cast is just fireballs this isn't a build guide or anything like that i just wanted to sh kind of showcase this because the build just absolutely slaps for this. The, the wide AoE spread on it is so good. And all the bounces, it's like being Mario again. And all you have to do is play this build like you're casting... Uh, what is it? Like Bone Spear or something like that. But it is perfect to just kind of farm everything that you need to farm. In a Helltide, it's great for like AoE. It's great for the large mobs super good just bounces and destroys everything your lucky hit chance is like through the roof and this build is just like crazy good i'll kind of like go over everything briefly and just kind of show you the items and stuff that i'm using but i'm not going to go into too much detail because we're going to have a build guide for this later but i definitely definitely want to show you guys like this build it is super super fun so you can see we got 43 minutes left i've already opened up one chest um, we just missed the second one. I was just a few seconds short getting to the other side. And now what we're going to basically do is, is we have 45 or 42 minutes left to open up the chest that moved. So we're going to be able to get um, at a minimum nine, but we did get five from the first chest, which is awesome. So we'll get six more. So that'll be 11 on my sorceress. And then I'm going to be able to swap my characters to my Barb or my Necro and open the chest again for six more. And then another six, so that'll be 12. So I'll have 27 total at the end of this run. So because I have 42 minutes left, all I'm going to do is farm all of the cinders that I need with this build until I rack up enough cinders, which is what? 3, 6, 9, 12 plus the 300. So I need 1,200 more. And then we just open them super easy guys but this build is the funnest i've had in a long time especially in hell tides it is super super fun and you're just you're literally mario it's crazy so yeah guys i just wanted to bring you this real quick uh, let me clean out these mobs real quick and i'll show you uh just kind of the items that i'm using for the build um it's a almost all unique build we are rocking god slayer remnants Gloves of the Illuminator. You can see I don't even have half my gear leveled up because I just made this. Um, but Gloves of the Illuminator for the Bouncy. Uh, the Bouncy Bouncy. Because now they explode each time they hit the ground. And then, of course, we got Staff of Endless Rage. Every third cast launches two more, which is super easy. And then, of course, we got x just to blow everything up even more, guys. So, yeah. Uh, the build guide for this will be out soon, as soon as I get it all finished. But right now, this build absolutely slaps. And it's by far, I'm claiming it now, the best Helltide farming build in the game. So yeah, like the video guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, stay gaming. See you guys in the next one. Peace.